Welcome to the Getting a Right Start video seminar series. This is a series of video seminars and matching ebooks on core web technologies targeted for small businesses provided by Sonic Spiders Right Start and Sonic Web Tech programs. You can download the matching ebook by going to the Right Start websites.com site. Today our topic is Getting the Right Start with Google Hangouts for Business. Okay, we're going to do. Uh, we're going to start with Google Hangouts. There's also Hangouts on Air, which is the ability to broadcast your Hangout to the world and record it at the same time, and it instantly becomes a YouTube video that 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 you can then edit and share on, in any of the media's that you want. Now, keep in mind, on Hangouts on Air, when you are doing the Hangout on Air, you are live broadcasting. It's not private. Okay, so keep that in mind. Some people go, oh, really? Yeah, you, you, you're live, and somebody can just come in and watch you. So be careful. <laughs> it's not a private thing, whereas Hangouts by themselves is private. Only the people who see are invited to your Hangout and see and do what, you, what, what, what you're doing. Uh, okay, these are the questions we're going to work on. We're going to talk about what Hangouts are. <clears throat> we're going to talk about, can my business do Hangouts? What can my business do with Hangouts? Uh, what do I need to get started? Then we're going to do a Hangout. I'm going to demo one, and I'm going to walk through all the pieces and show you all the little key things you need to know. And then those of you who have computers or whatever, we'll try to actually do a little Hangout right here so that you can kind of walk through, get started, and kind of go through the process a little bit. Okay? Um, so, Google Hangouts is um, just was... It's kind of a multiple things that Google has been doing and has finally brought together in one little package they call Hangouts. Uh, they had a video, what's called um, a video chat. They had messaging. They had several of these things. They finally brought together and they launched it in 2013, which <laughs> guess what, that's this year. So it's not that old. It's pretty new. Uh, it combines previous services. Uh, and, and also combines YouTube with Hangouts on Air and brings that all together in one kind of system. And it's also device and OS independent, independent in terms of the service. They have um, apps for your iPad, your phone, your Android, everything. So you, you can pretty much count on that your customer can join, no matter where they're at. Because if they have any of those kinds of devices, they can join in. They don't have to be in front of the computer. They can just have their iPad sitting at Starbucks, and they can join right in and get involved. So that's kind of nice. Now, comparing that to what's been there before now, um, it's rather dramatic. Before, you had to do things like GoToMeeting or WebEx or any of those, and they generally cost you a certain amount of money. And if you wanted to have all these kinds of features together along with cross-platform, cross then it might cost you a lot of money. I know I tried to, I struggled with it myself trying to do some of these uh, various types of webinar softwares and stuff. And yeah, I found some out there that were fairly cheap. I found some out there that were kind of free, but they usually were a little on the brain dead side. And so that made it kind of difficult. So now you have somebody like Google who doesn't mess around, really bring some really good technology and make it available to you so they can get you to pump in all kinds of neat information for their search engine. And, uh, and it's free. So we're going to talk about how you can leverage this, this really golden opportunity. Well, like I said, it's free. You're, you can connect with your customers and make it personal. One of the things that technology has suffered on in the past is that it was kind of impersonal. You know, uh, who, likes, who likes going and getting and, and leaving a message in voicemail? You know, who likes that? No. There's, there's all kinds of things in technology that people don't care for because it seems so mechanized out there. Hangouts allows you to actually do the thing that we as humans really like to do, and that's see a face, to see a person. And this is, this is really a big leap in terms of being so widespread available. It's not that it hasn't been available, now it's just 
it's, it's available to everybody all the time, anywhere. So it's really opened up that part of the social clues that we have with face-to-face. It also allows you to build content marketing because it automatically feeds into YouTube if you want. So not only can you do the face-to-face -face interview with somebody, you can broadcast it and then you can rebroadcast it on your website. So you can really repurpose a lot of content instantly. It's really great. <clears throat> and videos now have page rank value. So guess what? You're doing, you're doing the personal face-to-face, -face, you're building the content, and your video has page rank, and you only did one thing. You know, that is great. Multiple purpose of the exact same action. Oh, and then, of course, it's free, which is always another last nice thing. Okay, so what can you do with Hangout? So I went out there, and I spent probably an hour and a half or so querying the great Google universe and seeing how many things people did and tried to do using Hangouts. So this is a list. So I'm going to run through it real quick. It's on your paper there, so you don't have to write anything down. Uh, these are some things people are doing today with Google Hangouts. Okay, in the customer service area, you have product <coughs> service education, fix it, how-to tutorials, product service training, help desk hours. And some people are actually doing having business hours on the internet. You know, from this time to this time, Eastern Standard Time or Pacific Standard Time, I'm open. Come and join me. Ask me questions. Special uh, VIP customer perks where you take your best customer and kind of help them and interact with them and, and have a personal get-together without having to fly or drive very far. Sales, product and service demos, new customer meetings, got a new customer, you just want to sit down and chat a little bit before it took it took a lot of work to get together with that customer. Now you can do it pretty quickly. Sales meetings, product launch and announcements. You can do an announcement, broadcast it, and then repurpose it onto your website. Webinars, Q&A sessions, and get testimonial interviews that you can then put on your website again. Very powerful. How does, could I ask you a question? Yes. Is it that much different from, say, Skype? Just a video no, no, there's a lot of similarities, except, again, you're getting paint ranking out of all this stuff. Yeah. Okay. See, it's not that, the, 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 my point is not that some of these services haven't existed out there in bits and pieces. It's Google brought it all together and mixed it in with their search engine and mixed it in with their YouTube and its ranking power. And it's, it's like, Great it's like taking all no these things and bringing it together. Okay. And on top of that, Google, you know. So, I mean, so it's, it's hard to be. Yeah. Right. Okay, crowdsourcing. Some people are doing crowd, crowdsourcing and focus groups. Interviews is becoming very big, especially on, uh, on uh, the YouTube. I've been doing interviews with industry leaders, interviews with top chefs, and do things like that where you can then publish that. I've been doing interviews for years. I know. With but people in business. This way you can broadcast them and then turn around and repurpose them on your site all in one package and not have to do anything extra because it automatically but, is there. But then you don't get to edit it. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. How do you edit it? There's a whole editing system in there. Mm -hmm. Yes. Another new learning curve. Yes. Mm -hmm. There's a whole, I mean, yeah, you, you can edit, split, splice, splice and dice it. Yeah, you can take one interview and break it up into several small interviews. You can clean out some stuff. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's cool. They've, they've thought of that. <laughs> or you can just let it go, you know, if you don't want to do the work. You can preview events, preview some new product that you're doing. Panel discussions is really, really popular now. A lot of panel discussions going on. And, of course, just broadcasting events that you're having at your business. Just set up the computer, point it at your restaurant, and say, hey, we're having a party. Who knows? You'd you, be surprised how people will latch on to something like that, you know. And suddenly you've got, you know, hundreds of people uh, viewing you. Consulting. Group and individual coaching, training services. This is what we're going to be doing a lot of and helping. Uh, again, when consulting, interviewing people that you're consulting with and doing presentations. And, of course, consulting type webinars, too. Oh, you thought I was done. This is the last page. <laughs> And then there's just business operations. There's just 
things that make your business run smoother. Like you're going to have a new employee. Now you can interview them on the hangout. Just you know, log in, you can sit there, you see them face to face, you can see what they're wearing, you can see their body language, you can chat with them, you can do the whole interview online, you can do employee training, staff meetings, and at Sonic Spider we're starting to do staff meetings with Hangouts where we actually can see each other and talk and sh share our screens and show each other what we're working on. That works really good because you can do, there is screen sharing and stuff, so you can share your screen, you can share videos, there's other tools I'll show you where you can do whiteboard work uh, right online. Collaborations, client meetings, networking and business meetings. So, I mean it's just huge. There's just all kinds of opportunities here. You have to have saw something there that you do and might need because I think I covered a lot of it. <laughs> okay, what are the equipment requirements? A computer, a webcam, Preferably a headset or earbuds and a microphone. Now, I think all of you have most of that. The only thing some of you of older machines might not have is the older machines did not automatically come with webcams, but now most all of them do. And older machines didn't come with built in mics, and most of them now do. So if you have an older machine, you might have to actually buy a webcam and actually buy a microphone. But that's pretty much it. And those are pretty cheap. I saw them for anywhere from $25 to $40 for the whole enchilada. So uh, it's not a big investment to take your old machine and turn it into a good business machine. Okay, what do you need to get started? Well, you need the equipment. We've already talked about that. You need a Google account. And if you want to do HOAs or Hangouts online, you need a YouTube account. That's it. You don't need a Gmail account, but you can use one. You don't need any other kind of business account or local places account. You don't need an apps account. You just need a regular old Google Plus account. If you do have a Gmail account, you automatically have the account. All you have to do is add Google Plus to it. So you may already be sitting on your account. You just have to upgrade into the Google Plus. So if you do have a Gmail account, you're already mostly there. If you already had a YouTube account, you can bring the two together, link the two, so that your, G, your G, uh, Google Plus account now links to your YouTube account, and now they have Google's. Google's trying to merge things. So they're definitely trying to get you to take this piece and this piece and bring them together. So they've got a lot of tools now. I admit there's some glitches here and there, so be careful, but they're getting better at it. But they're really trying to bring all those things what together. Glitches? Oh, I read people that were trying to connect their YouTube to the Google Plus account and, and they discovered that they had several accounts and they had several YouTube accounts they didn't even realize and, and then they were then, then everything got confused. So they had trouble kind of cleaning out the mess. See, one of the problems that people have with Google in the past is that every time you go in there and do something with Google, you forgot that you created an account. So you create another one. You created a Gmail account, then you went to YouTube, and you created an account there, and you went to local places, and you created an account there, and then you needed another Gmail account, so you created another account there, and suddenly you had dozens of accounts. I saw people talking about five and six and seven accounts that they had. And then they're trying to figure out, okay, which one do we use? Okay. So it can get a little confusing there. So if you've already been very active on Google, you, you may have to struggle with that a little bit, but... but um, that was really been the only hang-up, is bringing that together. Okay, on headsets, speakers, and microphones. Speakers can work, but you've got to be really careful. You know the old feedback loop? Oh, that will happen. It's happened to me, and it will happen here. So you've got to be kind of careful where you position your speakers. Uh, it's better to use a headset that has, that has that attached to it. I brought one along. It's a USB thing that I'll be using my hangout here. It's got the mic right here. The nice thing is with the mic right here is it gives you nice consistent sound. If you're using your, your mic on your computer and you bend over to do this or you reach over to do that, suddenly your voice fades in, your voice fades out. You decide to lean back, it fades away, it fades in. Here, the microphone stays with you. So if you're going to be doing much in terms of hangouts, Invest in a mic a headset with a 
with a mic right there. Usually you're going to get a much better quality. Okay? John, I might say it's very important that it be a USB as well. The quality is much, much better than the older types with phone plugs. Yeah. So just throw those away and get a good USB. Somehow I flipped back. Um, anyway, voice quality, headset with a mic is the best combination. So uh, if you're going to be doing them a fair amount, then, then go all out and invest in, in that. And they're not that expensive. I think I just got one for my wife for like 50 bucks. It was uh, uh, Plantonics, so it was a quality. And it was their lower end, but it's still really nice quality with the voice cancellation and the whole, the whole thing. So it definitely gave the good quality. Okay, again, if you're going to do any number of hangouts, you want to make sure that your sort of your production stage is decent. It doesn't take much. You got to have. You want to be on the brighter side in terms of lighting. Uh, it depends on your webcam, what you can get away with, so you'll have to test that. Some webcams handle dark better, other webcams can't handle the light because of their lenses, and so you end up everything being dark, it looks like you're in the dungeon. You don't necessarily want to be looking like you're in the dungeon. Backgrounds, if you end up with a lot of things behind you, especially dark things, you suddenly lose the person's head, so you tend to want sort of a lighter background. Uh, you'll notice that a lot of these people, <coughs> Hey, they see your kitchen in the background, you see whatever. So it's not too big of a deal. You don't have to get fancy. Just keep in mind that your face is really what's important, and you don't want anything distracting from that. Other people will actually do a screen thing behind them. You really want to look really fancy. Um, that works well. Another problem some people have is the reflection on your glasses from the screen. Your eyes are an important part of this face-to-face. Glasses are all wiped out from reflection, and that kind of can be distracting in terms of talking and communicating. So, so those are some things you'll have to test. Out. Okay. Now, supposedly, my wife is all ready for us to do a hangout with her. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna do that. I'm gonna plug in. I'm gonna plug in here. Switch that. Okay. And I'm a, while I'm doing this, I'm going to uh, I'm going to walk through the parts. Okay. I'm going to go to my profile, which is right here. Okay, in the upper corner, you'll see this little quote thing. Sometimes, if you have it minimized, it'll just be the green quotes. That's all will be there. Or it will have the word Hangouts on it. But the green quotes is Google's icon for Hangouts. So wherever you see the green quotes in the little voice bubble, that's a Hangout. If it's, I think it's orange or yellowish orange, then it's Hangouts on Air. So that same thing with an orangey color is Hangouts on Air, and the green is just the plain Hangouts. Okay, so while you're on your Google Plus profile, you'll click Hangouts, and you'll get what's called the Hangout sidebar. <coughs> okay? That's not the official name, but that seems to be what everybody's calling. Yes? Um, how does the Hangouts uh, little bar show up? Okay. Okay, that's, okay, that's what it looks okay. like folded, and when I click the green, it pops out. It's, a, it's like a drawer. It slides out. It slides out from the side. Google likes to do that. You'll notice that over here on your profile, you get the same thing. When you, when you go over to your profile, you get the slide out from the left. So Google, keep in mind, Google likes to slide. has, a, has these drawer menus, they're called. So this is a drawer menu, menu from the right. Yes. So if mine isn't coming in like that, that's okay. Mine's coming just as a flat. It doesn't come like that. No. I don't know. I guess I don't know what you mean by flat. Oh, I'll come over and look. Yeah. No, that's right. That's exactly what I have. Okay, but I don't have slide menus and all that. 
Oh, no, no. This is what I'm talking about. Is this right here? Uh, just that. Yeah. I'm only talking about this thing right here. This, this right here. Right here. Okay. That's, that's the menu that's sliding out. Okay. Now, from here, you have several places you can start a hangout. You can, down at the body, you see hangout party. You can do a hangout party. And when you, when you start a party, like so, it opens the Google window, and you can invite people to start typing in the people you want to invite. Mm -hmm. Now, here's a little trick. Let's say you want to play around with the Hangout tools, and you don't want to really call anybody. Just hit Cancel here, and it will bring you into the Hangout screen with nobody there but you. You see, I'm the only person that's there. And I just walked away from myself. <laughs> so that's one way you can kind of play with the Hangout tools. Okay? I see. Let's take a little tour of here. You have a Google Effects where if you want to put a headband or a tiara on somebody's head, you can. A little fun stuff. If you want to chat with somebody while you're also talking to somebody else, and, and let's say you're in a group of three or four, they can type in some questions or they can, you can get a you can get a kind of a meeting list going on over here, okay? Can everyone in the party see the chat? Yes, they can see the, the group. It's called group chat. Okay, then you you can share your screen. You can capture a picture, so you can take pictures as you're going along. Of let's say sharing a screen. There's the Hangout toolbox, which you need to separately activate. It's sitting there. You have to click it. Then it downloads it and asks you permission to get information from Google. Once it's downloaded then you're good to go. Uh, also, another thing that you want to do is you want to do what's called the lower third. And that's in under Hangouts. Click the silhouette. That's the silhouette right here, the circle with the headshot in it. And that turns on your lower third. So here, one of the bugs that I've found with this right now is that every time I go in, I have to put it back in because it doesn't save it, which it's supposed to. I still haven't been able to um, so if I type like so, and I click, turn it on, it shows up down at the bottom here, and I'll, and I'll click myself, which is called blue box. Notice the blue box around me here? So if you click one of the people down in the film strip, this part down here is called the film strip where all the people's heads are going to show up. If you click one of those people, it puts a blue box around them. And notice that my name is backwards. Well, there's a little little thing right here next to the arm that lets you flip it over. OK? Now, why it always starts the other way around, I don't know. But it always starts backwards. And then you can choose a logo. So instead of your head shot, you can go and say, I want to put my company's logo there. And you do that, and you go, where's my logo? Well, you got to turn yourself off, turn yourself back on again, and then your logo shows up. So you have to kind of do a refresh. Okay, can I just yes. comment that this is going way too fast for me? Sure. Okay, what's your, what's your question? So, um, so I, I clicked on to start my own group. And then I hit cancel, so now I'm, I'm on the picture on the bottom. I'm not on the picture on the top like you're up there. Yeah, you haven't blue boxed yourself. You How seen. do I do that again? Just click your face. Click on my face. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we will, now, we will be doing this again. This is just the first run through. Okay, so as soon just, as we finish this. Just the first run through, I just want to get some yeah. of it. Can I get, just get some of it? Sure. And then you said that's going to come up. Now, that doesn't come up for me at all. It just says group chat, and above it is the microphone. Mute microphone. Oh, you had to probably get your Hangout toolbar started. you got to go over to Hangout toolbars on the right. On the right, there isn't anything. I mean on the left, I'm sorry. Okay. I... If you don't see it, you have to go down to View More Apps okay. and click that, and then you'll get, which I'm going to be coming to. So we're kind of, kind of getting ahead of ourselves on that. Okay. We're going to be coming back around. We're going to actually do a whole other hangout with you where we're going to work on each individual piece. I'm just trying, this is like a quick intro. Okay. So you get the lay of the land. 
Okay. So, and then you can enter a tagline. So I can type in. So, and again, it doesn't show up until you turn yourself off and turn yourself back on again. And now you have your little tagline. You can also download a whole image for this, too. So if you really want it to be fancy, you can do what's called an overlay. And you'll see uh, in the toolbar there is a thing called the overlay, which is right, right here, custom overlay. And that will let you put in your own little custom thing down here that you have some graphic artist do that looks really cool and fancy. Okay. okay? Now, theoretically, you can save these presets. Right now, they're not doing a very good job of saving. So don't get frustrated. Hopefully, Google will fix that, and it will be, it will be uh, fixed. Okay, so we're going to invite somebody to our, to our hangout here. And here we go. So I'm going to I'm going to submit. You can also use telephone numbers. You can do all kinds of things like that. And then I'm going to put my headset on. So and then I'm also going to there she is. I'm going to go to my uh, sound. And make sure I've turned that on. So I'm going to go down here and turn on my headset. Hello. So where are you right now? <laughs> so, I'm doing a hangout with. Uh, How did from you the turn your headset on? Oh, I went to settings in the Mac yeah. and went to sound and scrolled down to where my headset was and I highlighted. It. That's all you have to do is highlight. Right now you have external so, microphone. You have the external. Okay, go to sound and do what? Internal. <coughs> yeah, but you're already you, you you don't have a headset, so you have nothing to set. Okay, but when I do, what then you'll I go. Do? You'll set your output to whatever your headset is. Mine's called C Media USB headphone set. Okay, okay so I highlight that. Okay. And then I go to in input and I highlight the same one because it's a combo. It's a headset and a microphone. Uh -huh. Now it could be in your case that you could have a situation where you have a separate mic where you would... I have a mic and a, a, a camera in the... That's back. right. And, so and you can use those except like I said today if you use them we, we might risk having feedback loops because okay. you'd be broadcasting your sound out okay. there. But I can just put that, I can take off the mute and I can put the, the bar up halfway or three quarters of the way and then I have sound? Sure. Okay. Yeah, you can, you can set your volume for input, output. Okay? Okay. So that's how you would do that. Okay? So you can see, uh, oh, we got, she set up her lower third there. On hers, I blue boxed her so she shows up. And the nice thing about about Google uh, the, the Hangouts is that it's configured by default to show the picture of the person who's talking. Okay, so you've got to be careful. If it doesn't appear to be working, it's probably because you blue boxed yourself. Okay, so you have to kind of you have to kind of get that undone. You can also mute yourself. Why did it do that? You can also mute yourself by going up here and turning off your sound up right here so that nobody can hear you. You can also um, turn your camera off if you decide, I don't want anybody to see what I'm doing right now. <laughs> so, and all you get is the icon. Uh, if you're on a low bandwidth situation, you can, you can play with your bandwidth and slow it down or speed it up. Okay, and then you have your settings where you can actually, if, if you discover that after going and setting your earphones and your mic and it still doesn't seem to be working, go to settings here and there you can choose your devices here. 
So it could be that this is out of sync with your machine. So you need to go here. Right now it says default device. That's the best setting because when I set it in my settings, it picked up the default device. But if for some reason that's not working on your machine, you might have to fix it here. I haven't heard of too many people having to do that. And this is where you would set your camera if you have a separate webcam versus the one that's built right in. Okay. Uh, let's see. We also have um, your volume control. If somebody is having problems with echoing, uh, we found that turning the volume down a little bit helps uh, get rid of that echo. Also, um, there's the comment tracker. This is really good for HOAs. Uh, what you do is when you set up a, if you want to have a broadcast and you put it on your profile, you'll end up with a post. You'll, you'll do a post in your profile for your broadcast. When people talk to you through that post, you would like to be able to see it here. So one of the ways that you do that is to put your post ID here and it will bring your post into the, into the HOA and show the conversation of that post right along with with your with your group can you so people can be talking time? to you can you say that one more time where is that okay one of the ways that you can set up a hangout or an HOA is to do a post using the event calendar you can go to the events and you there's like six different ways of doing a hangout okay and we'll try to go through some of them but one of the ways is like through the events you can and it creates a post that lands in your profile that shows up in your profile People then can talk to you in that post. They can ask questions. The problem is it's in a separate window, right? So you've got the Hangout window and you've got the post window over here. Well, Google has set it up so that you can merge the two. And that's the Comment Tracker. Comment Tracker allows you to bring the two together. And what you do is when you do the post, the post has an ID, a link. You go to your post, you grab the link before you start the Hangout. And when you start the Hangout, you paste the post in there and say add and obviously you could add several and it will bring that conversation into your hangout so that you have this conversation going on as well as your hangout simultaneously okay? others, others will see that right and others will see it you're sharing you're sharing the post with everybody in the hangout as well okay um, this just tells you about the toolbar, which we have active right now. Then you have settings. Um, I keep turning this on and it keeps not saving it. I think that's probably the problem. Okay, then over here we can do screen share. Where I can, the nice thing about screen share, I'm going to take this off for a second. I like a little more mobile. The nice thing about screen share is it takes, it takes windows and desktops. So you can share a window, see, each of these are different windows on my computer, or I can share the whole desktop. So I have three windows up and my desktop. So I have three possible things to share with everybody in my Hangout. So when you go to hit share, you have to decide what you're sharing, because it's going to have, and if you have multiple screens, like I do at home, in my office, then you're going to have sometimes seven or eight screens there that you can pick from. So that makes it really nice because you can target one window and just show them that. So you don't always have to just you don't always have to show your whole desktop. You can instead just share a window. That's all you want them to look at. It's an application that you want to share or a, a document you want to share or something like that. Even a video. Okay. So you've got a lot of choices here. So we're going to share uh, this document over here. So you start screen share, and it comes up inside inside your, your window. See, here it is inside the window, right there. So now I could talk about it and edit it. We can do a collaboration on putting my PowerPoint together. And then when you're done, you just click screen share again, and it turns it off. So you click screen share, get the window, 
And then when you're done, you click screen share and it flips you back to where you were before. Okay, so just click the same thing. That's also can be confusing because you don't see an off button. It's the same thing. You just click screen share to turn it off. Okay? You can also capture a photograph of what's going on. Um, and you can watch a YouTube video. You can go get a YouTube video and share it. Down here, view more apps. There's a whole bunch of different apps up here. And there's a whole list. You can share Google Drive. Google Effects already installed. You can play around with Scooter Doodle. Um, <laughs> I haven't checked that one out. Slide share, you can have some slides so you can actually do a slideshow. Remote desktop actually lets you get on somebody's machine and help them out. I haven't experimented that because we have our own system for that. But that, that might be a, a cool thing to use too, where you want to help somebody uh, work on something. Um, and there's a game, of course. Then there's this is this is a Symphonical is a whiteboard application so that you can do whiteboard stuff with everybody. Okay? You know, draw pictures and do lists and things like that. So that's that's the apps, and hopefully they'll be having more apps in there. <coughs> Those are the ones that come with it right now. I've already activated two of them. I have Hangouts and uh, the whiteboard active. Once you have used them, once you have installed an app, it then shows up on your list here. Okay? Yes? Well, I think that's where I lost connection because I didn't see where to, how to create that app or how to grab that app. So I am not on the same page, and I'm just wondering if you could briefly tell me how to, how to get the app on here so that I can select it and make it happen. Or oh. should I wait for the next round? <laughs> oh, where are you at right now? Like, I'm not in Google Hangouts. You know, I mean, I'm in Google Plus, but I don't have that little Hangouts thing being offered as a toolbar option. So I can wait. Oh, okay. Okay. Big deal. okay. You, that's one of the frustrating things. You click something, and poof, it disappears. I know my wife gets up really upset when she clicks something and it just disappears. Mm -hmm. She kind of curses. Well, I didn't see it show up at all. Oh, it didn't show up at all. Okay. Okay, so we're going to we're going to close this particular hangout down so we can do our own here. So I'm going to go up to the hangout, the hang up. That's a little phone handle up in the far left corner, and I'm going to click that. And goodbye. Bye. So goodbye. I mean, it's like cuts it off, and that's the end of my hangout. Is that the exit? On the right-hand side? That's the little hang-up. I'm going to hang up my... See, these were originally called video calls, like phone calls. They were called video calls. That's, that's actually what you can talk... That's what you call this window. It's the video call window. And so they have a phone hanging up, up in that corner. So when you click that, it hangs up. Okay? Okay. Now, let's do our own hangout. So this is where we're going to actually walk through the stuff, okay? I want to show you one more thing um, before we do that. Before you start with an actual hangout, let's say you want to kind of organize your group. So you click somebody over here, and it brings up a window. You bring up one person you want to join the hangout. This is your, oh, and it minimizes too, be careful. You see how it dropped down below? This little window is what's called the chat with that person. It's the personal chat. Now, you can bring people into it by hitting the plus. So you can have a chat with multiple people. This is very much like your SMS messaging on your phone. You notice that it looks kind of like it. I shared a picture. She shared a picture. You can do all the same things you can do on your phone here, okay? You can also disconnect it. Using this little arrow, you can disconnect it so it now is floating, like so. So it's floating in a window. Or you can reconnect it, and it will show up down here. You can squish it down to just a title, so it's down here as a little title to get it out of the way. And you can click it to make it come back up. 
down at the bottom, you can, you can type when you've got somebody there. Right now I can't type because I don't have, I'm not connected to anybody. But down here you can chat. You can type things in. And you can hit the little camera here if you want to share a picture. So this is kind of, this is one way to start a hangout. Okay? This is by actually clicking a person. But you still can have them here. Okay? Okay, so that's one way to do it. It also gives you a little chat window. So that you can chat with that person before you start, or chat with three or four people before starting. So I'm going to close this down. Okay, and we're going to start a hangout party. Okay, and I'm going to invite people. Okay, okay, so I'm going to submit this, and you're going to get an invitation. So you would be scheduling this, wouldn't you? You could schedule it. They, you do that through events, but this is this is now. This is just kind of a take a chance. Take a party. This okay. is this is this is make a party. So it should be going out. I gotta leave my window open. You should also be getting alerts. Do you have to take turns? Like raise your hand? Or Not really, but it obviously it confuses the system of two people talk at once, but it tries to follow the conversation. Okay, that'll be interesting. Yes. <laughs> so, so he did. Okay, I, I, so I'm just clicking on you, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're going to try this again. So did you get your email? <laughs> well, I have a separate account. On this app, I got a uh, pending hangout. Okay. So, so, so to John Moore, everybody, yeah. Click on it. Yeah. Click on it. I didn't get it. But I didn't get an email because he directed me. No, you wouldn't. If you have, if you have Hangout Google Plus profile, then you'll get an invitation in your profile. Or in your case, you have your app up. Where? You have your profile. Thank you for watching this video from the Right Start Seminar Series. You can download the matching ebook by going to the rightstarts.com site, along with ebooks on many other core web technology topics. We welcome you to come and visit our Right Start websites and Sonic Web Tech sites, where we specialize in providing web technical support and development solutions for small businesses.